Hello and welcome to the very first episode of Cool Games, a new series here on my channel. In this series I will showcase some of what I think are the most cool or the most fun, engaging and ent entertaining games I have ever played online. And for this episode I chose a game I played against a certain Roy Cabot. And this game is basically the Blackburn Shilling Gambit in its purest form. Let's see how it goes. So, the first move is e4, then e5, knight to c3, knight to f6, bishop to c4, Italian opening, or Italian game, as you want to call it. After this, normally black would play pawn to h6, or some other move. I mean, pawn to h6 would mean that he is afraid of the fried liver attack. But let's see what the Blackburn Gambit is all about. The Blackburn Gambit is about knight to d4, moving a piece a second time, which is not great normally. But if you're playing this opening against a stronger player, he might think you have blundered and he will take the pawn, which is exactly what happened um, to 1GM, according to Yasser Serawan's stories. Story, sorry. Um, she basically won a game against a gra another Grandmaster because the opponent didn't know this Gambit and he thought that she had made a mistake. So let's see. This guy thought that as well. So he took a pawn and the move here is Queen to G5. This move is strong because he uh, Black tra threatens to take either the pawn or the Knight. Now, white here in this position could say, well, I can simply come here to f7, which looks like a fried liver attack. And in fact, Roy Cabot in this position did do this. Now, this is bad because now the queen can come to uh, g2 and threaten the rook. White now tries to save the rook, of course, because why not saving the rook? And Black now captures the pawn on e4. Um, now, black could defend by placing its queen to e e2, but then the knight would take it. So, black sees that uh, sorry, white sees that he has a bishop on c4, and so he treats that. Now that is a bad move, because let me see if you guess the next move. It's mating one. So the next move is, of course, knight to f3, checkmate. I don't know if you can call it a smothered mate in English, that's not my native language. But anyway, this is the Blackburn Shilling Gambit in its purest form, so it couldn't have gone better than this. I had loads of fun playing this because I just saw it in the books and I thought I will never get a chance to play it, but in fact I did. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like or subscribe to my channel. I normally put just video videos of me playing Blitz Chess looking for help. That's it for this episode. I thank you so very much for watching. Bye.